What is up guys, this is Nock back here for another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the background of the picture. In other words, make your picture transparent so that you don't have your background color along with the picture so you just have the main focus of the picture. Uh, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that for completely free. I'll have another tutorial showing you guys how to do this in Photoshop but not everyone has Photoshop. So I'll show you guys how to do this. Now for this, you're going to need a program called Paint.net. I'll leave the download in the description. And this honestly, for free programs, this is the best. This is the best photo editing, free photo editing program. It has pretty much all the basic tools you need. Now it's not, it's not, it's not Photoshop obviously, but it does have most things you probably need for just, I guess, even just a normal YouTube channel creating thumbnails and that kind of thing. I might make more tutorials on that. But anyway, uh, let me go to file and open and select an image with a background. So I'll find a JPEG. Is this a JPEG? Uh, yeah, that's a JPEG. Okay, I'll select this picture. And as you can see, this is a JPEG image and JPEG does not support transparent images. So it always comes with a transparent background. So if I were to drag this into an editing program right now, I'll show you what it, I have. Yeah, I have it open right now. I'll show you guys what this would look like. So I'm in Camtasia. I'll just go to import media and it's this picture and I'll drag it in here and I'll show you what it looks like and that's what it, if you had a background that's what it would look like so say if you had a green background and you drag this picture in this is what it would look like and obviously it's not the most professional and nice, nice looking you obviously just want the in this case the box of the i7 I over here so I'll show you guys how to do that for completely free okay back to the image like okay go back here and what you want to do, this is actually very, very simple. What you want to do is you want to hit this over here. It's the rectangle select, uh, kind of similar to the marquee tool in Photoshop. And you want to select this whole thing. So you just want to drag it around the whole thing. Uh, apparently not. Okay, so once you do that, all you want to do is you want to select the magic wand tool. So it's over here. And then you want to click on the background. So if I click on the blue, for example, it'll take out all of the blue. The blue parts of the image and I'll take that part out but in this case obviously you want to take out the white background or whatever background you guys have just click on that and then now once it does that it's showing everything that it's going to delete out of the picture and you want to hit the delete button and once you do that obviously it's not going to be perfect if you have an image with a very complex background and uh, this is not going to work very well your picture is going to look really really weird so you need a program like Photoshop to get that precision editing and I'll show you guys how to do that in a different tutorial for people who already have Photoshop as I mentioned but uh, over here as you can see we have this and all you have to do now is that's it it's a transparent image go to file or I'll go control s save and then quality I'll just set it at 95 and hit ok uh, apparently ok wait let me go to save as see if this works okay I'll just go here and you can't save it as a JPEG because JPEG obviously does not support it uh, you can save it as a GIF or a PNG. PNG is better because with the GIF files, um, the edges of the the edges of the picture tend to not be as sharp on PNG. It's usually better quality. So I'll do that, and then I'll hit the save button, and then yeah, that should work. And this basically this gray and white thing basically means that it's transparent. That's basically all it means. So let me go back to the editing program, and let me show you that it works. So uh, which one is the PNG? Yeah, that's the PNG. I'll select that. Yeah, and I'll put it in here. And as you can see, it's a black background. He can't. There's no white. And that's how, for example, if you see my PC builds, that's how I put images in without it looking really weird. And that's not it for the tutorial. I'll show you guys how to uh, take this image and put it against a different background. So if you want to put it, like, say you're doing a thumbnail or something like that, I'll show you guys how to do that. So all you want to do now is just go to File open let's see if I have oh yeah I have a background right now I'll just select this okay and all you want to do is you want to go to you want to go to the go to the layers tab and you have to do this or else when you put this picture in here uh, the gray and white background is going to stay so you want to go to layers and you want to and you want to add a new layer and as you can see we have a new layer go to the other tab over here where it has your original picture and you want to go back to the rectangle tool over here and you want to select everything and then you can hit control C or you can right click copy or edit copy and then go back over here and hit control V now and as you can see you have this you can like edit it you can have different things you can you can do a lot with this you can create background images 
you can create thumbnails, channel art, a lot of different stuff. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to get rid of the background images. In other words, make your image transparent for completely free and also guys, don't just use this program for that. If you do do any sort of editing for YouTube or anything and you don't have a program like Photoshop, this is the way to go. This program, before I got Photoshop just like a few months ago, this is what I used like pretty much for everything. A great program. So anyway, if you guys found that video informative, remember to leave a like, subscribe, share, and favorite. I hope you guys all had a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.